Are we filming? Yeah. Oh, we're, we're live. live. We're live. <laughs> nice. We are on our way. It's head on. Check out the tracks. We can see Randolph Trail. There's a lot of natural activity out wow. here. Could be there. Or a dog. Could be here. Or just someone taking a dog for a walk. Could be a dog too. Or it could be a boar. A, a boar. boar. here is a vernal pond which means even though there's no water flowing under the bridge into the stream it's going down into the ground aquifers to uh, to supply the surrounding nature with water for the trees and all the plants we clearly have a spot here that is not oh, perfectly built as you can see um, I'm can we, uh, Sorry. Can we, uh, we're trying to get some good footage here <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, for anybody to like feasibly want to walk around this pond with a dog or something, this is uh, not ideal, especially in the springtime where I think we actually might get some water flow underneath here. It's hard to say now because of all the snow. Um, this could be a potential bridge area, like a preposition for another bridge, because if you look, as Harry just demonstrated so nicely for us. It's pretty up in there. Yeah, like he just sank up to his knee. And it, it's it's a dip, so another bridge? Maybe another bridge. The water is right there. That's like Jake, you wanna step out onto the ice well, so we can I'm see where the water is? The ice. But as you saw before, the other bridge served little purpose, at least with this level of water. It does make it more even though, so I don't before think we should get this, rid of that bridge. I think. Yes. No, I, yeah, I agree. Yeah. We gotta keep the keep bridge. Keep that bridge, but maybe, maybe this also deserves something. Yeah. yeah, take a little steppy step. Nope. <laughs> to the ecosystem. No. When these marshes are in full bloom, be a beautiful sight to see. So after our trip to Ted's Pond, we discovered a few things. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, the first thing we noticed was that there's a section of the trail going off this way and going off this way, but they don't connect on the other side of the pond. So that is the first order of business to make a safe, or propose to make a safe bridge that goes over the uh, tributary stream into Ted's Pond. Uh, another thing that we noticed was over on the bridge that is already there over the uh the dam we think is what we think is the dam um the railing has come off so it's pretty slippery so i think a railing would be a really good idea for that um other than that there is a lot of things that need to be cleaned up like a rug in the stream just general um, like litter mm -hmm. they can't, they can't spot, they can't. i know i was uh, general litter yes <laughs> um, um but overall, Thorn bushes. a yeah. lot of potential yeah. for this area. It's like in a really nice spot off the trails. And if it were to be a little bit more accessible, I could definitely see people just come into Ted's Pond, maybe stop in for a picnic or something like that. Yeah, I could totally see myself coming here, like on a warm summer day. You did? Yeah. Especially yeah. if our names are on a bench. Yeah, I yeah. Like uh, there, I like there's that. definitely a lot of places for benches to be put. There's a big, nice oak tree over there um, that there could be a bench on. Um, yeah, it is, it is an oak tree. Yes, and uh, just along the um, along the thing, there's a lot of a lot of wildlife around here because it's it's such an important uh, pond in the area. So, yeah. Perfect. All right. <laughs> All right. <we're> good. <laughs> 